Pathmark is the intelligent tool for website lead generation. With increasing online competition, over 98% of website visitors don't convert. The ability to successfully share your value proposition and support visitors in their buying journey separates you from the competition online. Pathmark qualifies and converts leads on your website by figuring out where they are in the buying journey and influencing them in key decision moments with relevant micro experiences like case studies, intro videos, and much more. Stay relevant to your visitors and increase conversions by 50%. Add Pathmark to your website in seconds. Let the AI do all the work and get access to 50% more qualified leads while you keep doing marketing and sales as usual. Check us on pathmonk.com. Welcome to today's episode. Let's talk about today's guest. We have Alec Melnikov from Valix, president with them. How are you doing today, Alec? Hello, Ernesto. I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great, great. Thank you so much for asking. And we'll let, let's kick it off. Alec, I'm sure our listeners are tuning in, wondering what Valix is all about. So in your own words, can you tell us a little bit more? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so while uh, uh, when visiting one of the clinics, when going, let's say, for an x-ray or for an ultrasound, as a patient, uh, you will not see Velux anywhere, but there is a pretty high, pretty good chance that Velux is running the clinic in the background, taking care of all the mundane stuff, such as billing, patient chart, uh, keeping track of all your images. Uh, so in essence, we're a B2B company. Uh, servicing uh, ultrasound x-ray clinics, uh, smaller size clinics. Uh, we started the company uh, 10 years ago. Uh, we're growing slow and steady. And now we're up to about 60 employees uh, continuing to grow. Now we have outgrown the Canadian market. We're pretty much dominating the market. We have more than 50% um, of the market here and we are actively expanding in the United States now. Okay, awesome. Great, 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 great to hear that then. And so then that way our listeners can get a good understanding there of Velix. What would you say is that key problem that you guys like to solve for clients? Uh, so the key problem is to uh, is for clinics to stay organized, uh, is for clinics, uh, uh, first of all, to keep the patient chart in order so that no paperwork is lost. Uh, then uh, not forgetting to uh, call the patients back, not lose any revenue there. Uh, and also not to make any silly mistakes, such as uh, uh, missing images or missing an important finding in a report. Uh, so really, it's uh, uh, it's like a personal productivity tool uh, for uh, for us. Uh, then uh, this is what our system does for uh, imaging clinics. Okay, interesting. All right, not, not nice to hear that then. And so is there a certain vertical segment that, that Relix likes to go for? I mean... Uh, what would be the ideal ICP then for you guys? Uh, yeah, so we're focusing on serving a very narrow niche. Uh, mm -hmm. So our software is somewhat similar to a, a generic uh, electronic medical record systems or uh, just overall imaging systems. Uh, but we are going after uh, small to medium size clinics. Uh, so hospitals are not our market. And uh, also we're only focusing on radiology, cardiology. Uh, with that, uh, we can we can be very competitive in terms of pricing, and also uh, we only provide uh, what 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 our clients need. We provide uh, the well, uh, we cater to the exact expectations of a client of a clinic who don't have their own IT staff, who only have uh, ten computer workstations that are well, usually quite frankly they're outdated, and uh, we work fine with that. We don't have any uh, crazy requirements, and uh, we don't ask our clients to uh, to run to run their own uh, systems to maintain their own computers. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Great, great to hear that then. And so, how would somebody then usually find out about Velix? Is there a top client acquisition channel for you guys? Uh, so it's a combination. Uh, it's a combination of uh, word of mouth, uh, since the niche is so narrow, and there are. Uh, very, very, very few uh, clinics out there uh, that can be our clients. As a result, they pretty much all know each other. Uh, they buy and sell clinics uh, from each other. They compete uh, among each other. And uh, they also uh, exchange uh, their impressions about uh, the systems that they use. Uh, so that, that helps a lot. That uh, puts our name out there. Uh, also, it's a more traditional means, such as... Uh, 
uh, attracting people through our website, uh, from trade shows, uh, advertising in specialized magazines, uh, a, bit, a bit of everything. Okay, all right, in interesting. I'd love, love to hear that then. And so that way our listeners who are tuned in could go ahead and visit you. They could always check you out at belliximaging.com. What role then does the website play for client acquisition, Alec? Uh, so for us, um, this day and age, uh, the attention span is very short. Uh, well, that's that's for everyone, not just for teenagers. And uh, what we need to uh, convey is that uh, we know what we're doing and that there is a compelling reason uh, why we should be taken seriously. Uh, so for the longest time, uh, our minimal uh, minimum viable version of the website uh, was just one page. It was just why Velux. It was, uh, we had just some key points uh, showing the showing that we know the industry and uh, showing that we know how to address the exact pain points uh, that uh, that our clients have. Okay, all right, interesting, like, like that. So then is there any tools or tips or methods that you would recommend to our listeners as far as some website lead generation? Uh, so for the website lead generation, um, I have uh, quite an unconventional uh, advice here is that uh, when we were just starting the company, uh, we were uh, researching our competitors, researching them quite, uh, uh, quite actively and aggressively. And what we found was that um, for some of the competitors, no matter how we tried, we just could not get for anyone to uh, get back to us. And that was very sad because uh, we were finding their website with all the marketing campaigns and the, the website is so nice. And uh, they're asking for all, the, all those details uh, uh, in their uh, contact us form. Uh, and then uh, days and weeks go by and uh, no one calls us back. So with that, now for us, uh, for our sales department, uh, uh, for uh, people uh, in charge of inbound uh, inbound sales, uh, there we have a standard that same day or within 24 hours, uh, they have to get back to all the leads, every single voicemail, every single uh, uh, contact us form or email uh, has to be answered uh, because that otherwise is just a waste. Otherwise, all the budget and all the money uh, spending on online advertising, uh, it just goes nowhere. Definitely important. Yep, I, I would agree with that on, on that point. And well, let's switch gears a little bit then, Alec, and let's talk about you as a leader, you being the president there for, for Relics. What are some key tasks you like to focus on your day-to-day -day work? Uh, yeah, so I, I look at my work, at my role at the company uh, as uh, someone uh, who's a keeper, a uh, keeper for both uh, uh, the company as a mechanism, as a, a tool that is constantly working and uh, turning inputs into revenues and pro profits, and also is a living organism, uh, the one that needs to be nurtured, that needs to be uh, watered, fertilized, uh, taken care of, uh, pruned uh, from time to time. Um, so with that in mind, I see the work as a flow, flow that uh, uh, we need to set up and uh, flow that we need to monitor, uh, flow of uh, customer support issues being resolved, uh, flow of uh, sales lead that need to be sold, installed, and then maintained. Uh, and with that, uh, I'm trying to approach it from uh, the point of view of putting smart people together, uh, giving them a clear goal and letting them do the work. Uh, so I see my most important uh, input as in uh, uh, hiring. Uh, there are many articles uh, online and we see it with ourselves too that uh, especially small businesses are not spending nearly enough time on interviewing candidates. That's so, such, such, a, um, such an easy choice to just go with the first good one, uh, just yep. being afraid that uh, the person would, would, uh, would uh, take uh, another offer if we wait for a week. Uh, so first is to hire, set up the team, and uh, also to set, establish, and uh, keep uh, repeating the, the goals the goals, the uh, long-term strategies for the teams, uh, making sure they're on track uh, and uh, steering, adjusting those goals, uh, making sure that we are uh, uh, that we are on the way to uh, to getting to them. And uh, what pretty much every president has to do is, of course, uh, crisis management. That's not what I like, but you have to have to take care of it. 
Yep, Keith, definitely. And so then how is, is there a certain uh plays that you like to go for to stay up to date with all the news in the marketing world where as far as strategies trends news is a perfect channel for you um well first of all today news they they, they come to us we, we don't have to go actively look for news uh so i spend a lot of my time on youtube and uh of course, my my work, the topics, my interests uh, from my professional uh, from from my professional life, uh, it starts showing in YouTube trends. So uh, all the trends in management, in uh, technology, uh, that just gets served to me, and it's hard to miss uh, uh, hard to miss anything new and shiny. Uh, but in terms of the narrow niche, that takes uh, uh, for our our market, our clients. Uh, that takes uh, an actual effort to stay on top of. Uh, so there we take part in trade shows. So we exchange the news with uh, other vendors and uh, we pay special, uh, particular attention to both our website and our existing clients for uh, what kind of questions people are coming with and uh, what are the new topics that uh, let's say we never heard of. Uh, suddenly everyone is concerned about... Uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, ransomware. Okay, so now, 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 now that is the value proposition we need to uh, we need to focus on. Definitely important. Okay, I also love, love, love to hear that. Um, and we'll let's jump into our next section then here, Alec, which is our rapid fire question rounds. Are you ready for them? Uh, yes. All right, perfect. Then first off, uh, Alec, is what is the last book that you read? Uh, so that would be um, uh, that would be the culture map. Uh, it's a book about. Uh, um, it was a very uh, like it stuck in my in my memory because it it was a very random choice for me. I just picked up and uh, started uh, browsing through the book, but then uh, uh, it resonated right away with the uh, business aspect of uh, what I do, uh, because uh, the culture map it talks about uh, how people communicate uh, in different cultures. Uh, in the context of uh, business, in the well, at, at work, uh, with colleagues, with uh, uh, with each other, with the clients, uh, and uh, since after COVID, pretty much everything is remote, yep. so that puts a huge, huge toll on uh, communication and how we communicate. And my personal approach was always that the clearer, the more direct, the better. In IT, if it's not on paper, if it's not in the email means it never happened and it cannot be assumed uh, but then from that book i found out that uh, majority of cultures around me uh, they uh, rely on context and uh, being so direct and uh, being so uh, uh, well, painfully detailed uh, that uh, comes off as uh, blunt and uh, sometimes even insulting uh, so that uh, that helped me uh, well, ex expand my options and really uh, cater uh, to uh, to the person I'm uh, communicating with. Uh, if they are just focusing on uh, pricing and they just want everything to be taken care of, then okay, fine. We can assume a lot of things, and I'll just take, tell them everything will be taken care of. I will not insist on going through the checklist and making sure that they sign on every single line. Definitely okay. All right, I, 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 I like that. Like that. Uh, and so. Say, if, if there's one repetitive task that you could automate then, Alec, what would that be? Uh, for repetitive task, um, well, I'm, I'm trying to think of one that is both painful and if we did it uh, frequently, it would be valuable. And I would say that is keeping track on the financials because we do... Uh, we do calculate uh, our main financial uh, indicators uh, such as profitability, revenues, cost of acquisition, uh, how much we can and should spend on uh, customer acquisition next month. We do that monthly or uh, some of those heavier calculations such as what is an average cost of uh, uh, totally uh, like complete uh, uh, onboarding of a new client from acquisition to installation, migration, then training them and hand holding them for the first year. Like that's a very elaborate calculation. 
Uh, so if uh, if there was a system that could just calculate and show it daily or in real time uh, how those numbers change, uh, then uh, th that would add a lot of certainty. And uh, I would say pricing is uh, one of the sensitive topics in marketing uh, because our, our clients like to uh, uh, like to calculate and tell us what our pricing should be given how expensive or cheap is uh, Amazon Cloud and other providers like that. Uh, but then there's just so much, so much that goes in there. Uh, so I would just automate uh, all the, all of the fi financial, all of the accounting transactions going in and somehow magically it comes out as a nice dashboard. It's showing that uh, if our pricing is above, above $1.05, then, then we're good. Then we're in the green. Okay, I like that then. And uh, well, what would be one, one advice that you would give yourself, Alec, if you were to restart your journey as a marketer today? So I would, um, yeah, if to go back 10 years, then uh, it would be, well, starting with a generic of not, not sweating the small stuff, uh, but really to focus on the uh, systems, procedures, uh, on the uh, things to put in for the long run uh, instead of uh, one-off uh, heroic efforts. Uh, so for example, when onboarding one of the clients, uh, we had to uh, extract all of their uh, previous data, all of their previous patients from the old system and uh, they were insisting that uh, we somehow, well, not, not exactly hack, but uh, plug into their old system and just uh, suck all, the, all of their existing data without their old vendor knowing anything about it. And uh, at the moment, it felt like the most important project in the world, and it was a deal breaker for uh, that one client. Uh, but at the same time, looking at that year, it was what we spent uh, most of that year on, uh, just effort on uh, making that happen. And uh, that did not make us more prepared for the flow of clients that we had uh, in the following years. Uh, so I would say focusing on creating systems, building teams, uh, putting flows in place, and then uh, letting those uh, uh, systems and flows uh, take, care of, uh, the, uh, take care of the business. Okay, awesome, I lo lo love that, love that. And uh, well, Alec, we are coming to the end of the show today here, but before we do end, I do want to give you the last word. Say someone forgets everything about the interview today. What is that one thing they should remember about your company? Um, one thing is, uh, I would say, uh, um, somehow I have this, uh, this term that comes to my mind is uh, unfair advantage. So that remember what your unfair advantage was is to sum up everything we did was that uh, we really exploited unfair advantage that first we were new in the market so we could build our system to whatever the clients needed and we were very nimble now that we have majority of the market okay so now that is our unfair advantage that we can just uh, open a client's door and say that uh, we have more than 50 percent of the market so uh, that's why we can uh, start the conversation uh, so it's, uh, yeah, always focusing on um, uh, how, uh, how what we do is on a different level, how what we do is uh, uh, gives us such a great uh, advantage, such a great, uh, 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 great uh, driving force forward. Definitely. Okay, awesome. Great, great to hear that from you guys. And for our listeners, check them out at valeximaging.com. Remember, it's simple, effective, comprehensive. It's a new era in clinic solutions. Alec, I do want to thank you so much for being on with us today. To our listeners, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm looking forward to our next episode at PathMonk Presents. Thanks a lot, Alec. Great. Thank you very much, Ernesto.